Shalom, Israel. Shalom, it's your brother. It's the brother Bana. It's the brother Nathan. We're here bringing you a little sit down, bring out the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. And we, you know, before we begin, we'd like to give all honor, praises, and glory unto our power. Yahweh Bashim Yahushah Bashim Rakakwadash. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the only begotten Son. And I'd like to give double honors to the elders and head apostles of Great Millstone, our teachers who rule well and teach well, bringing 100% truth through the Holy Spirit. And Shalom to the Akim out there laboring in this truth, risking their lives and freedom to go out there on the highways and hedges, compelling our people to come in to the house of the Lord and repent. And Shalom, peace be unto the believers, those that are coming back to the word and repenting in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and building up the tabernacle of David. So right, let's peace. go ahead and jump right in, man. Right? Peace right. be unto you. All right, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, the house of David. All right, the water of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, giving us the, the spirit, the blessings, you know, yeah, to, uh, to do this lesson. Yeah, so we just wanted to, uh, you know, jump in on the topic of uh, pretty much being discreet in this thing man because we have to realize that as much as we want our loved ones and and uh you know all of israel to receive this word the lord has only chosen a remnant that are going to be able to receive this word in this time man you know two-thirds of our people are going to be blinded and not be able to receive this word and they're going to be continuing to invest in this world and following Esau of Edom and trying to prolong the ways of, of this life in this world and they're not going to be able to understand the truth of the Bible the truth of these holy scriptures the truth that we are the the real Israelites of the Bible and not these proverbs and bywords that these uh, Edomites so-called white man the red man to be more specific Idumians and um, these heathen have uh, tried to hide from us, man. The true history of our people is in the Holy Bible, the scriptures. And for two thirds of our people, they are not going to be able to receive this word. So that's why it's important that we try the spirits, man. That we are able to not vex ourselves even more because we're already vexed with this world, but we're not trying to beat something and force something upon somebody who is ultimately blocked and blinded from Yahweh no matter how hard you try they're still not going to be able to understand this word or to be open to it man they're gonna they're blocked man so we have to come to the realization that that's going to be a lot of our loved ones and and for the people that are coming in at this uh, last hour that, you know, have been able to receive this word to be blessed that they, uh, you know, to understand that they're blessed to be able to receive this word, you know, to be selected to to receive it and, and um, you know, be learning and trying to understand further and further from the elder apostles and, and the Akim on down that are, are preaching this doctrine under the Great Millstone. So, the water and the shalom to you, brothers. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, why don't you go ahead and, uh, you know, bring out that Mark 1. Okay. And, and this is, uh, you know, this is not something new. This is something that even Yahweh Shai was wise enough to, to navigate through and deal with in his time um, roaming this earth, man. He had to be circumspect. He had to be wise and discreet and how he navigated knowing that he would be hated by all man for being the only begotten son and bring the for being the the truth man for giving us this this truth man mm -hmm. for being the um the cornerstone of this truth man mm -hmm. telling a chief cornerstone come okay. okay. so yeah. yeah why don't you uh go ahead and bring that out man yeah it's the book of mark chapter one it's like the book of St. Mark, chapter 1, verse 40. It says, And there came a leper to him, 
beseeching him and kneeling down to him, saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Yahweh Shai moved with compassion, put forth his hand and touched him and said unto him, I will be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him and he was cleansed. Right, man. So for those who said that, you know, Yahweh Shai didn't perform miracles, okay, that the Heavenly Father, you know, did not bestow the blessing upon his only begotten son okay, to perform miracles and that we should not rever Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, okay, they're simply going off. Yeah, they're well, going off and they, they don't understand the scriptures, man. Like we were saying, they're blocked, mm -hmm. you know, even though that they want to so-called think that they are, are, uh, holy people or that they you know they they know the bible they, they don't because they would know that the old testament as well as the apocrypha and the new testament all speaks of yahweh shai mm -hmm. you know yeah. and, and there's no denial that yahweh shai walked this earth and that he performed miracles man mm -hmm. and you know Lord willing we're gonna see that uh, that second coming of Yahweh Shai soon, man. And this whole world is going to know. You know. This is St. Mark chapter 1, verse 43. It says, And he straightly charged him, and forthwith sent him away, and saith unto him, See, thou say nothing to any man, but go thy way, show thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded. For a testimony unto them. All right, so sent sent the man away, sent the leper who was cleansed away. Okay, seeing that he go and make his uh, the proper offerings, you know. And now yeah. he's being circumspect and wise on Yahusha's part because mm -hmm. he didn't want to. He, he wasn't being overly proud, man. Mm -hmm. He wasn't trying to to um, you know be boastful in his abilities, man, mm -hmm. to, to perform that miracle. He wanted to be humble and, and still respect the, the Levitical priesthood in that way of, of having the the man go through the, the rituals that Moses laid down for, that the Levitical priests, you know, would do, would um, enforce for when a leprous man was healed. Mm -hmm. He had to go and follow the same procedures. So Yahweh Shah was not trying to do away with the law, man. Mm -hmm. God, still upholding, you know, the, the and fulfilling the law and ultimately uh, to the very best of the ability, you know, he had that full blessing of the Holy Spirit. But also like Doc said, you know, not being boastful, being meek, being humble, and knowing that he's doing the will of the Heavenly Father, which had sent him. So uh, I just wanted to go in on that where he straightly charged him. So charged, you know, he, he wasn't charging the money. He wasn't, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. having him pay something or anything like that, mm -hmm. uh, being in debt to. He was telling him with earnest, this, uh, the Strong's ha goes in on, uh, you know, to, um, to sternly enjoin. So to, um, with, to charge with earnest admonition, stern, sternly to charge. So mm -hmm. he was telling him, giving him direct orders that mm -hmm. he, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai was an austere man. So he's telling mm -hmm. him, hey, I, I'm, I just healed you, but you have to, you have to do what I'm telling you right here. Mm -hmm. God. I need you to, to go that way and to, um, to say nothing to any man about this miracle I performed for you. Mm -hmm. I need you to go and and still pay tribute to the Levitical priesthood by going through the proper offerings and, and the, of the cleansing, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So using that discretion, you know, walking circumspectly, man, you know, having that, that righteousness, you know, and upholding upholding the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by his own. And ultimately, because he knew that he was going to make enemies with, you know, mm -hmm. he was going to draw that attention to himself and he was going to, you know, create 
the type of um, hatred and, and and despisement that he already knew was coming, man. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Kind of. So I'm going to go back into St. Mark chapter 1, verse 45. It says, but he went out and began to publish it much. And to so this, this leprous man was here and he disobeyed Yahweh Shai. He went out and began to tell everyone about it, man. Mm -hmm. Became, you know. Yeah, loose, as they say in the world, loose lips sink ships. Yeah, man. You know? And that's uh, just to show you how, you know, how much uh, Jake, you know, is, is uh, you know, they, they have a hard time with temperance, man. Right? Controlling their their emotions, controlling their own spirit, man. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, you know, that's not a new thing with Jake, man. They're not able to control that, and and a lot of uh, a lot of our people they run off of impulse, man. They don't think before they their actions, man. They're just controlled by their emotions and impulse, and that's something that will be a, a great downfall for a lot of people, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't make wise decisions when you're led by emotion. Mm -hmm. Kind of. So I'm going to repeat that saying, St. Mark chapter 1, verse 45. But he went out and began to publish it much and to blaze abroad the matter, insomuch that Yahweh Shai could no more openly enter into the city. So he taught everyone, man, abroad, you know, once you tell, uh, you know, certain great stories like that, of, of that type of magnitude, mm -hmm. everyone, you know, it's like a game of telephone, man. Mm -hmm. These people are, are telling their friends, family, what they are. They're taking it to the next city and speaking of this. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the whole the whole region knows about the story now. Mm -hmm. And think about it too, like in the ancient days where everyone was constantly in communication directly with each other. You know, going and, from city to city. Yeah. Going from place to place and everybody communicating directly with each other. That's right. And they, you know, and, and when and they would have uh, somebody that would travel from to a different region, different uh, city area, they would come back with with information, man, mm -hmm. intel mm -hmm. of what they what they saw and what they heard, mm -hmm. okay. and that would be that was the modern uh, form of communication, man. That was the social media. Exactly. That was everything, man. Okay. That's that it. was so, the news, man. Kind of, exactly. So just like nowadays where people are, have, have the internet, the phone, so on and so forth, tabloids, and newspapers, and yada, yada. The point being is it's just like those things would happen, spread like wildfire. Kind of, that's why I said to blaze and rod the mm -hmm. matter. Mm -hmm. Spread of. like wild, wildfire. Mm -hmm. Kind of, yeah, man. Kind of. Yeah. So going back into the same verse, uh, St. Mark chapter 145, it says, In so much that Yahweh Shai could no more openly enter into the city but was without in desert places so he had to go into kind of hiding man he had to go to uh low-key areas man he couldn't go into uh much populated areas because now people heard about him and they knew who he was man mm -hmm. yeah, to where he can no more openly enter somebody and, and that's uh you know that's a thing of difficulty, man, because you're not able to handle your business, man. Mm -hmm. God, it makes it very difficult because then you have a lot of these, you know, lukewarm and, and unbelievers and so on and so forth. You know, everyone either coming to you in a time of need or, or questioning. Yeah, that's why know? they say with these, uh, you know, celebrities or these people with uh, money and things like that, you know, more ends brings more friends and stuff. But then you don't know who you can trust, man. And you're unable to conduct your business in, in the same fashion that you did before. That's why a lot of those people say they, they liked it better before they had that type of uh, success or attention, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before how, attaining that type of notoriety. Kind of. You know, and uh, to kind of finish that thought though, yeah, it's like things people would come often as well, just like they do to this very day. With a, kind of like an unbelieving, like a almost, a, you know, in a, I don't want to say rhetorical kind of way, but like 
where they 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 come with this disbelief, this unbelief, you know, kind of like a, you know, like a pretense, you know, they already have like an idea of, of what you know, and trying to disprove, you know, certain things, you know. So oh, yeah, they want to contest everything. Yeah, kind of, kind of. They have that, you know, that type of attitude, that kind of outlook on it. So yeah, man, you get a, a lot of different um, types of personalities and spirits, you know, that would that would ultimately come from that. So yeah, that's why it says that. Uh, yeah, but was but was without in desert places, and they came to him from every quarter. That's right, so coming to him from different areas, okay. all sides, man. Right? Yeah, and um, yeah, like you're saying though, you know that brings that type of attention where you're gonna bring, uh, you know, unwanted attention. You're gonna bring haters as well as the people that admire you, man. Mm. You're gonna bring people that want to bring you down and and disprove you, man. Mm -hmm. kind of kind of and that's it man that's jake to this very day you know constantly trying to disprove and, and discredit and so on and so forth man always mocking scoffing yeah, yeah. And kind just, of, kind you know, of they, they're they, never happy for their brethren man they want to um disprove them they want to you know constantly trying to uh to joke on them or you know bring them down and never build them up man Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, kind of, kind of. Yeah, man, so. Yeah, man, so. Yeah, we'll move over to the book of Mark. Uh, St. Mark chapter 3, I'm going to start at verse 4. It says, uh, And he saith unto them, Is it lawful to do good? So like, uh, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days, or to do evil, to save life, or to kill? But they held their peace. Yeah, so he's talking about the, um, you know, the Pharisees when he's talking to um, pretty much when he is going into the synagogue, there was a man with a withered hand. Mm -hmm. So the man asked to be healed, you know. So he's uh, the Pharisees are, are trying to test him, man. They're mm -hmm. trying to, you know. It, it's one of those questions where they want to try to trip him up, man. They want to um, trip up the Shai and to to make him uh, seem like he's doing wrong, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that's the that's the type of uh, spirit, man. That's it's a wicked spirit, man, to deal with. To where you got people that that don't have the best intentions for you, man. That are, are little snakes in the grass, man, that are coming up to you and, and you know, you don't, you don't see their true intentions, man, to where they, they could be coming just to infiltrate, man. And that's a lot of these people now, whether it be, um, you know, people that, that come up to, to when you're out there on the highways and byways or, or even your own, uh, you know, family or so-called friends, you have to, you have to be circumspect with that man and be able to, to you know, read people's intentions, man. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh Shai, he was, <laughs> he was gifted with the ability to to do so, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're, they're trying to trip him up, man. You know, mm -hmm. it's like a you know. A snake in the grass right there man trying to be friendly with you but at the same time trying to trying to trip you up man yeah. go ahead the mark uh st mark chapter 3 and verse 5 says and when he had looked round about on them with anger being grieved for the hardness of their hearts he said unto the man stretch forth thine hand and he stretched it out and his hand was restored whole as the other and the Pharisees went forth and straightway took counsel with the Herodians against him, how they might destroy him. Let's see, yeah, they they couldn't trip him up, and they they had to take counsel afterwards with their their you know their hidden secret anger, and they're all seeking counsel against Yahushua, man, talking behind his back, man, how they might destroy him. And he wasn't doing anything uh, evil, man. Mm -hmm. He was, 
he was healing, man. He was doing good, but they, they couldn't take that, man. They mm -hmm. thought that they were being, uh, you know, overtaken in there. They, they just wanted, they had that love for the little power that they had, man. So where they were jealous and thinking that, that Yahweh Shai would take away from their, their, you know, their ranking and their, their power and their, mm -hmm. their pride, man. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty much what it is. But Yahweh Shai being, you know, so circumspect, man, man. He, that's one thing that he, he would always do, man, is answer a question with a question, man, <laughs> to really have him think about it, man, and not be able to, to rebuttal it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, with uh, Mark three and four, you know, he, he he told them, "Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath or to do evil, to save life or to kill?" So he's saying, "Man, so just because it's the Sabbath doesn't doesn't mean that I can't uh, save a life or to heal, to do good. It means I gotta just be idle and, and not." not do anything and let somebody, uh, you know, I think there's another scripture where it talks about, um, you know, saying that, oh, if uh, if an uh, ox or, or I forget what animal was to fall into a ditch and just because it's the Sabbath, you know, to not get it out of the ditch, mm. to let it sit there, to let it die in there. <laughs> mm, kind of. Like, yeah, man, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, so, yeah, I mean, so he's doing well, and these, these wicked Pharisees, man, these wicked scribes are, are you know, uh, conspiring against Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. So, it's wicked, man. They're going off. Yeah, man. They're, that's how people are, though, man. Whenever they they feel threatened, with, when, especially when it comes to their, their power or their pride or, or their, um, their control over the people. That's when they want to take you out, man. Mm -hmm. When they feel like they're losing control over the masses because of you. And that's how it is with this truth, man. You saw Edom's going to do whatever he can to um, keep this truth from going out, man. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it, man. It just reminded me of a, yeah, man. Reminded me of a story over in uh, Second Kings chapter 12. But yeah, more or less to kind of sum that up to, you know, reference that. Yeah, man, they had priests who were um, taking from the tithes and, and, and taking from the people, man. And uh, they were wicked. And, and they were going against the will of the king. And uh, I think it was jo Jehoash. Jehoash. Um, you know. Um, uh, yeah, Jehu. Or Jehu Jehoash. Yeah, it's like it. Um, you know, reigning in Israel, I believe. That's like, I'm, I'm butchering that. But the point being is that uh, 2 Kings uh, chapter 12, yeah, it goes into that saying that, that he, they were unwilling to do repairs to the to the temple. You know, they were uh, to the church, man. You know, the house, of, the house of the Lord, man. They were unwilling to do the repairs necessary. And you got they got called out on saying, okay, well, I'm, you're, you're getting all this, you know, money. Like, what's going on? You're not paying the masons you're not paying these people to do what they need to do to make these repairs and ultimately uh, he was killed he was conspired against and he was killed and it was all because of that greed you know from those wicked priests man and those who were who were wanted to retain their power and ultimately also continue to take in the tithes man and, and you know so that's that's uh it's like it, man. I just wanted to just maybe think yeah, of that, man. So yeah. for their own pride, lack their own, their, you know, a, a lack of sincerity and, and mm -hmm. lack of uh, fear of the, the Heavenly Father, you know, Bashi Shai. That's right, man. We, um, you know, this is uh, truly out of love, man. You know, mm -hmm. bringing this word out, um, you know, doing the work. Yahweh Shai, he was doing all this out of love, man, for his people. But these uh these Pharisees and these uh Sadducees they 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 didn't see it as, as love, man. They they were only focused on preserving their own power. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And they felt threatened, so they wanted to conspire against Yahweh Shaman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna go back into uh, St. Mark chapter three and verse uh, verse seven. It says, but Yahweh Shai withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea and a great multitude from Galilee followed him and from Judea and from Jerusalem and from Idumea and from beyond Jordan and they about Tyre and Sidon and great multitude when they had heard what great things he did came unto him and he spake to his disciples that a small ship should wait on him because of the multitude lest they should throng him so yeah man he had all these people from all the lands man he had even these uh you know even the so-called uh you know people that were in, in in strange lands you know strangers you know uh you know coming in and trying to uh trying to um, beseech him man to to help them mm -hmm. you know he had these uh heathen coming out there trying to trying to see what he was doing man mm -hmm. and he's he spoke to his disciples to um have that ship ready man because he knew that these multitude would um uh throng him which is like uh pretty much like to crowd him man to where he couldn't even move and, and get around and do what he needed to do. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go ahead and get the Strong's for Throng. I'm gonna get, I'll get it ready. So. Strong's G2346. Thlebo. 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 So that means uh, to press. Press hard upon. Mm. A compressed way. To trouble, afflict, distress. Mm. So yeah, man. Yeah, come and put that pressure on, yeah, man. Come and yep, as, as in, they say in the word, no sweating them, man. They're sweating, them, man. Sweating putting a lot of pressure them. and afflicting them, oppressing them, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. People come from every corner, man. Mm -hmm. Those that wanted help, those that wanted to, um, you know, try to contest him, those that had uh, ill intentions, man. You know, you don't know who you can trust when it's a big crowd of, of strangers, man, and people who you don't know who, what their intentions are, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that could be a, a difficult situation to navigate with. So, yeah, his disciples with a small ship waiting on him, man. That way he could have a escape route, man. That way he can get away, man, and continue doing his work. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and continue on. Yeah, we'll go back in the same Mark chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, For he had healed many, insomuch that they pressed upon him for to touch him, as many as had plagues and unclean spirits. When they saw him, he fell down before him and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of the Most High, thou art the Son of Power, the Son of God. And Son of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Son of Yahweh, you know? Yeah. Verse 12. Well, Son of Yahweh. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Verse 12 it says, And he straightly charged them that they should not make him known. Right? So, again, using that discretion. Okay. And verse 13. Say, so, yeah, man. He, he, um, they wanted to just touch him, man. Just touch him. Like that one, uh, the one woman who who had the um, the blood disease, mm. you know, mm. she she said as long as if she could just touch his his garment, man, mm -hmm. his 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 um, mm -hmm. you know, just his garment, his clothing, that she'd be healed. And she had the faith, so mm -hmm. she was healed. Mm -hmm. And she fought through the crowd just to touch his garment, man. Mm -hmm. But that's uh, something that he had to deal with, not only that time, but on on the regular, man. After after that leprous man made his uh, miracles known to everybody, man. Mm -hmm. okay. But, you know, again, he straightly charged them that they should not make him known. Mm -hmm. So, 
he's being discreet man and the same way that the, the hopeful elect have to be discreet man we're not gonna go out there and wear fringes everywhere we go man we're not gonna go out there wearing fringes at work telling everybody that you're a hebrew is a light you know going uh going everywhere you know everywhere you go trying to tell people about the word trying to tell them this and that mm -hmm. you're, you're gonna make yourself known by people who you don't know their intentions and you can't trust man mm -hmm. Damn. and and especially in these days that are ahead man you're gonna have a lot of people that sell you out man that are gonna be traitors mm -hmm. that are gonna be come up against you for this truth man mm -hmm. and you can't trust people in that way man you might be thinking that you're doing it out of love, trying to wake people up, but the Lord is, is blinding most of our people. We have to be circumspect and know that that we have to we have to let that be something that that is uh, built up. You know, we can't just go out there um, straightforward and and letting it be known who you are. And, you know. We have to be a mystery, man. And we have to let that be built up to where we can know somebody in their spirit, man, before you can open up in that way and offer them this 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 truth, man. Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn. Finish up here in, in uh, St. Mark chapter 3 and verse 13. It says, And he goeth up into a mountain and calleth unto him who he would. And they came unto him. So, right, so like Doc said, you know, we have to be circumspect in who we, you know, are, are open and, and honest with, you know, at the test of spirits and also, uh, you know, even our own family. All right. So on and so forth. I mean, uh, this representation here, he goes up into a mountain. So he's calling those disciples and those true believers. Okay. Whom he would. Okay. He calleth unto him whom he would. So using that discretion, using that discernment, that judgment, okay, and knowing who he can actually call upon, yeah, okay, who and they, mm -hmm. who he trusted, and also those who he knew were willing to go up that mountain to meet him, okay, and that's the same way we have to operate in these latter days, okay, mm -hmm. we have to be knowing and, and, and test the spirits and understand who we know is willing to make that climb. Yeah. Up into that mountain. Who's willing to sacrifice it all for you? How about Shimei Hoshai? Okay. Who's willing who to take heed to the word? Because as much as we want our, our family, our friends, our loved ones, you know, those who are of the tribes and, and most, you know, many of whom are of the two thirds. But the point being, we have to walk circumspectly and use that discernment. Yeah. Because we know that they won't, you know, answer the call of you. How about Shimei Hoshai? Yeah, we have to see whose uh, who's efforts have been shown that, that mm -hmm. they that they do have that type of spirit, man, to even be uh, hopeful to receive this word, man. Mm -hmm. And you have to really be circumspect to to know if you can even make that attempt with them, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God. Exactly, man, because we know that a lot of, you know, a lot of the people out there, two-thirds of our people, man, are going to perish. God. So, so, yeah, so he, yeah, like you said, I, he, he went up to the mountain, man, to to really uh, to separate himself from from these two thirds, man, and uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that's mm -hmm. uh, that's how we have to be. We have to be separate, man, holy, mm -hmm. and we have to um, really try to um, you know be discreet with this thing, man. Mm -hmm. Kind of really have to uh, withdraw and really have to uh, not show our hand, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Kinda. Especially, uh, God, I'm sorry to interrupt, man. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but it's just kind of the, um, to add on to that. Yeah, we can't show our hand and also, um, you know, not cast our pearls into swine. And, and uh, you know, and just knowing that, okay, we've already made an attempt, you know, if you've already done so, you know, you've already tried to plant that, you know, like, hey, bring forth the word, let them know, you know, hey, it's time to repent and come back to y'all by Shimon Shai and, uh, you know, let them know of this truth. But ultimately, if they're not willing to accept it, take heed to it, and, and they're not showing that true yeah. obedience. Yeah, you've been able to try the spirits and, mm -hmm. and know the spirit before you can even offer that. If you mm -hmm. already know, you know, 
the the ways of, of certain people, man, you, you already know off the rip that mm -hmm. hey, this, you know, mm -hmm. this is not gonna go well for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like this ain't for you, you know. Yeah. And, and they'll be they'll show it, man, in, in time, you know. Especially, man, especially the, the stubbornness, man, the hard headed, you know, the hard hearted, man. Okay, those those uh, stony hearts, man, you know. They definitely show themselves, man. All right, and folly, foolishness, man, and, and transgression, sin, man. It's it's so much easier for two thirds of our people to just continue in that folly, man. As the scripture said, talking about the dog returning to his vomit, you know. So that is uh, something that is uh, un unfortunately it's just the truth of, of the matter. So we have to use that discretion, be able to understand that, that ultimately it's all the will of the heavenly Father. Yeah, it's all the way. God, that just reminded me of a quick precept. I got a uh, uh, second Ezra eight one reads, uh, and he answered me saying, "The Most High hath made this world for many, but the world to come for few." So mm -hmm. there's only gonna be few that are able to receive this truth and and be able to to seek that election, man. Mm -hmm. You know, people are living for this world only, man. They're living for the ways in Esau's kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. and ruled by wickedness. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they don't want to break out of those chains, man. They they like it there. They want to see that life prolonged, man. They don't want to see Esau's um, world be destroyed and come to an end, man. Not only that, but they don't want to see a world without Esau. You know, that too, two man. two thirds of our people, man. They they trying to, you they, know, they got that they, Stockholm syndrome. They, they love Esau. You know? man. They, 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 they you know the minute you tell them that the so called white man's gonna go into slavery and captivity, and then it's gonna be utterly destroyed by the heavenly Father. Yeah, they they get they get sensitive, man. They catch feelings about that. You know, talk about how they love the so called white people, so on and so forth. All right, so man, that's just. That just goes to show that the uh, folly, uh, foolishness yeah, of our people. Uh, and this is uh, Second Ezra eight and three reads: There be many created, but few shall be saved. Mm -hmm. So we're, right. we're hopeful that we're part of that that elect man that receives that salvation. Mm -hmm. it says uh, so answered I and said, Swallow them down, O my soul, understanding and devour wisdom. So we have to be constantly seeking this truth, man. Constantly meditating and thinking upon Yahweh Shem Yahweh man. Mm -hmm. Trying to gain that understanding and to um, seeking Sophia, man, that wisdom. Mm -hmm. That's going to be, that's all the riches that we're seeking, man, is that understanding and knowledge. Because that's going to be what saves our lives, man. Mm -hmm. What's able, you know, and ultimately the Lord is gonna open us up to it, man. If uh, you know, it's either we're, we're able to understand this word and be opened up to it, or He's completely blocked us from it, man. Mm -hmm. Or there's gonna be some terrors in there too, but ultimately, yeah, man. If we're able to receive this truth, man, and this doctrine, that the the uh, you know, through the spirit, the elder apostles, the great millstone on down have, have been able to provide for us, man. Mm -hmm. We're able to receive it. Mm -hmm. We need to continue investing in that with everything we got, man. Kind of, kind of. It's like the ox said, you know, and, and actually it was brought out. It's, that's the spirit. That was that. But, uh, you know, the elders, the elder apostle Rakan, and the GMS brothers in Dallas were, were bringing it out tonight. And uh, uh, brother Yawan out there, then uh, shout out to all those brothers. It's you know. Yawan. You know, El Yashwamba, so on and so forth, the camp down there. Shalom, Yabashem, Shalom, Bakatam. But the point being, the brother, I, yeah, brother Yawan brought that out. He said specifically, yeah, Sophia, this is our, this is our woman. This is who we need to be seeking, man. Yeah, because you got, you got Jake, man, that's caught up in this world, man. Yeah. They will, they will chase these damn stupid ass women that have nothing to offer, man, and act like they're, they're the prize, man, and, and mm -hmm. They're constantly 
um, devaluing themselves and not putting themselves in a position of power, man. Mm -hmm. They they put these, you know, they worship the woman just like uh, Esau has, has made this out to be, man. Mm -hmm. To where they put the ways of this world on a pedestal, man, and they don't see their own value, man. Mm -hmm. They're okay. constantly in a low state, man, and that's not even, you know, women are, are attracted to power, man. They don't want that type of worship to begin with anyway, man. To where that you know that's an unattractive thing man to where you're, you're just you're putting yourself in a lose-lose position man because you're you're chasing the ways of this world and ultimately you're not gonna gain that type of respect anyway or that type of uh mm -hmm. you know what you're aiming to receive man mm -hmm. by by conducting yourself in that way anyway man mm -hmm. god like, god man you know? It's just a total lose lose, man, to where you're constantly going to be, you know, out there chasing something that you can't grasp. Kind of. They, they, and they fail to use that discretion, you know, which is more or less the theme of this lesson is they, they fail to use that discretion. They're, they put everything out on Front Street, you know, yeah. with each other, you know, with uh, with the women, with, with the different people that they deal with in the world, so on and so forth, man. They're boastful. Okay, they like to gloat and brag and so on and so forth, you know? They have that mentality where it's like they, they need to uh, be validated by men, by women, okay? By people out here in the, uh, you know, ultimately by, by their peers, okay? So on and so forth, man. And so, uh, yeah, man, they, they, they seek this validation. And uh, yeah, man, they, they err. They err doing so, you know? So... Okay. so. Yeah, like you said though, man, they're, they're constantly seeking the, the ways of this world, man, which is, which whether they like it or not, it's coming to an end, man. You know, we're seeing the, the final stages of, of Babylon crumbling, man. So why would you, um, you know, why would you spend your time trying to prolong this thing, man? But ultimately, Spirit is uh, not with them, man. Mm -hmm. okay. They're blocked, and uh, you know it's just a, a thing that we have to continue to move with our understanding to know that that the spirit ain't working with them, and that's mm -hmm. gonna be some of our loved ones, and we have to use our discretion when we move, and to um, you know just to remain a mystery kind of man mm -hmm. to where we're not going to put all the information out there like that all the time man to where we're not going to let people know you know let them know who we are in that way all the time like to where they they can uh, use that against us man to where they can conspire against us man because you know you saw you know he's gonna He's gonna be seeking to uh, demonize people. He's gonna demonize the brothers in the street, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he's gonna be constantly pushing that snitch hotline, man. You already see the way he goes after the brothers in the videos, man. When, when you talk about certain things, especially like, you know, the crash of the economy, the crash of the dollar, them, uh, you know, coming out with this karagma, man, and pushing towards that this mm -hmm. third world mm -hmm. but uh these are things that we have to be circumspect about man and be discreet we can't give out this uh this gold out to everybody man mm -hmm. we can't you know mm -hmm. you're gonna be uh you know people are gonna think it's strange that, that you don't write with them <laughs> like mm -hmm. the scriptures say right yeah, and actually, uh, going into it real quick, uh, Papa Gashai, I could pull up the yeah. definition for uh, the Google definition for discretion. It goes into the quality of behaving or speaking in such a way as to avoid causing offense or revealing private information. That's right, man. So this private, inter you know, this, uh, you know, the mysteries of the kingdom, man. OK, ultimately, those, you know, are, are meant for the, the hopeful elect of our people. Okay, but also um, it's something that they're they're going to be able to take heed to and accept, and their spirit is going to bear witness to it. Okay, and they're going to be able to to take that and apply it. 
okay? But to those who are unlearned and those who are, are not blessed with the Holy Spirit, you know, of Yahweh Shimei, through, through Yahweh Shimei Shai, okay, they're not going to be able to, uh, to take heed to this word, to understand it, and they're going to be offended, okay? They are going to be offended, man, okay? So, and also another definition says the freedom to decide what should be done in a particular situation, okay? So in particular situations, we have to use our judgment, okay? As the yeah. scriptures say, um, you know, be you wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Yeah. Okay? So, you know, we, we want to make sure and, you know, use that discretion and knowing, okay, like, is this, you know, is this the proper time, place? Is this person's spirit bearing witness? You know, is this so on and so forth? You know, we have to really, um, you know, be able to, man, walk in, in, in uprightly. Okay, in the ways of Yahweh Shimei Shai. Okay, so we have to think, man. You know, really think about the way we conduct ourselves in this truth. I don't want to that. That you know, we continue to be able to, you know, look at things with spiritual lenses, and be able to digest the word. Okay, underneath the tutelage of the other apostles of GMS on down, the like-minded Akim who are pushing this truth in sincerity across four winds, we are risking their lives and freedom to do so. Okay. So this is something that's worth dying for, all right? So we have to take this and understand that this is something that we just can't freely hand out. We can't be putting a big old target on ourselves and, and going around like, you know, uh, you know, like, like, like when, you know, a kick me sign on the back, you know what I mean? It's like, no, man, the world is already vexing enough and we're already getting afflicted and oppressed enough by Esau and Vim, so-called white man, all these other heathen nations in this modern day captivity, okay? being chastised as necessary by the Heavenly Father. So, you know, why continue to add, you know, to that, okay? So we have to use that discretion, okay? It's an ability, it's a gift from Yahweh Shem Shai to be able to understand and walk circumspectly and use that discretion. Yeah, man. We're already, uh, you know, we're, we're fools for Yahweh Shai's sake, man. So just even, even when you think of this, it's like, this truth is far out to those that are unlearned, man. Mm -hmm. the, you know, if you're talking about chariots and, and you know, so-called UFOs and, and, you know, just all, all the different things, you know, um, talking about, you know, uh, Babylon being destroyed with, uh, you know, you know, nuclear uh, missiles man you know it's it's far out to those that are unlearned man so you have to be circumspect to even realize that that they're gonna think that you're crazy man mm -hmm. they're gonna you know so why would you put yourself out there like that to be a target man mm -hmm. okay. Okay. so um just wanted to pull out a quick precept from first peter four and i'll begin at three reads for the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries, wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of right, speaking evil of you. Mm. So those that are in that stuck in that gentile mind state that don't have this truth that are, are following the ways of esau Edom and the heathen and the ways of this world they think it's strange that we you know don't partake in those uh, idolatrous uh ways you know all of the transgressions you know the iniquities that they partake in man against the most high you know the lust, the excess of wine, you know, the drunken, drunkards, you know, um, revelings amongst each other, the abominable idolatries, man, like, you know, not partaking and eating the abominable foods and, and all sorts of things, man. Mm -hmm. The, the gluttonous banquetings and things like that, the, the Christmas, the, the false holidays, man, all these things, and they think of it very strange strange man and then they they're gonna cast you out as evil man speak evil and speak down on you for not partaking in, in those ways that are going off man 
the the ways that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai hates, man. Mm -hmm. they, they they don't understand that, man. And they don't understand judgment. Mm -hmm. So they, they think of it as a strange thing, man, that you don't run with them no more, man. Mm -hmm. That you're not the same person, man. That you're not the old man. They they think of it strange and they're gonna they're gonna come up against you, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That birds of a flood feather flock together, so you're not the same as them anymore, man. They're gonna cast you out as evil, man. They're gonna they're gonna come up against you. Mm -hmm. So we have to be circumspect and not show our hand, man. You know, just like when you're playing a game of poker, you gotta keep your poker face on, man. You can't show your hand. Mm -hmm. You can't let everybody know the cards you got, man. Mm -hmm. You're gonna let them take away from your salvation. Mm -hmm. You're gonna let them try to bring you down and destroy you. Hell no, nah, man. We already are up against this world, man. This world is against us, man. This world hates us for, for this truth, man. This world hates Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we already got enough that we don't need to add more enemies onto that, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, why don't you mm -hmm. go ahead and uh, bring out that Mark 8. Uh, this is the book of St. Mark, chapter 8, verse 22. It says, and he cometh to... Bethsaida, Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man unto him, unto Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw off, out, saw off, saw out, saw, saw off, saw so, out. Uh, so if he could see, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, if he could see, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's just, <laughs> yeah. We got 1611, and then we got the yeah. non-1611, KJV. Yeah. But going back yeah. into it, uh, verse 20, uh, St. Mark 8 and 24, it says, And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. So he, he is still a little blurry, man. His vision, he could see a little bit, but it was blurry still. It wasn't clear to him yet. So he could see figures, man, like a man as trees walking, mm -hmm. but he couldn't see clearly yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, verse 25, after that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look. And he was restored and saw every man clearly. And he sent him away to his house saying, Red letter, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai speaking, says, neither go into the town nor tell it. To any in the town, again discretion, okay, mm -hmm. using that discretion. Yeah, man, and just like you know, Matthew six talks about when you give alms to, you don't need to let it be known to everybody, man. Mm -hmm. When you perform charity, when you help somebody, mm -hmm. you don't need to go, you know, telling everybody about it and mm -hmm. bragging about it and mm -hmm. telling everyone how how uh, generous you are mm -hmm. and this and that. Mm -hmm. No. The most high knows, and that's it, man. Mm -hmm. Kind of, you know, you don't need to make it public information and broadcast it on YouTube and, and Instagram and stuff like that. Kind of, you, know? kind of, you don't need to take video of yourself helping the damn homeless. And yeah, this and that. kind of. You know, yeah, you man. don't need a pat on your back. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, between man. you and the most high, and, and that man, and that woman, you know, that person. You know, the holy angels are carrying up the report, so that's all you need to to worry about. You know. Not trying to be validated by men. Kind of. We're trying to be. We're trying to be approved in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's right, man. Because they, they, they ain't gonna be able to do nothing for us anyway, man. Kind of. You know. Kind of. You know that type of approval does nothing for your salvation, kind of. nor for your relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's right, man. You know. So I'm gonna continue on here in uh, verse 26. Oh, Slaka, verse 27, Mark 8 and 27 reads. And Yahweh Shai went out and his disciples into the towns of Caesarea Philippi, Philippi. And by the way, he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Whom do men say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, some say, Elias, and others, one of the prophets. Yeah, so these people, they, they didn't know who Yahweh Shai was, being the only begotten son, man. 
Mm -hmm. uh, some thought he was John the Baptist. Some say Elijah, Elias, and others, you know, one of the prophets. And that also goes back, to, you know, you know, to many occasions, but um, also when he was, uh, you know, on, on the cross, man, when he was, uh, when he was speaking to the, the Heavenly Father, they, they thought he was talking to uh, Elijah, man, to come down. And they, they were saying, oh, they, they thought that Eli he was asking Elijah to come down and, and save him. Mm. You know, but that's just goes in on the um, the lack of uh, lack of lack of respect, kind of, and, and also just the just the way that people's non beliefs, man. And the way that people still don't believe now, they don't truly believe in in Yahweh Shai and the second coming. They don't truly believe in this word, man. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the type of non-belief that a lot of people are gonna die with, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say. Mm -hmm. So they they thought that he was just one of the prophets man and didn't john the baptist say you know that that you know that that him speaking of yahweh uh, being much greater than him you know mm -hmm. saying uh i don't want to butcher it he was saying that uh basically that that him that would come would be you know much greater than him Roughly paraphrasing, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's as in first or second Matthew. I think. Do uh, you remember that one? Right? No, it's locked there. No, I don't. Good, but bear with us, bear with us. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. This is uh Matthew three and eleven, and this is uh speaking of John the Baptist when he when he baptized Yahweh Shai, and he said, "I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear." He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So, John the Baptist was performing these baptisms, man. You know, giving people this truth of uh, uh, the, the Most High, you know, unto repentance. But he was saying that, that Yahweh Shai to come is, is much greater than him. That he couldn't fulfill his shoes, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he's much greater than him. And he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, you know, the living, you know, the, you know, the, the truth, man, with his truth and the, the testimony of it, you know, and with fire, because he's going to, those that don't receive that truth, man, and the spirit of truth are going to be cleansed through the fire, man. Especially, you know, speaking of two thirds of our people, man. Mm -hmm. And it says, um, you know, and then uh, Matthew three and thirteen. Then cometh Yahweh Shai from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him, but John forbade him, saying, "I have need to be baptized of thee, and thou comest to me." So he's saying, "You're much greater than me." And you're coming to me for me to baptize you. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, I, I should come. I should be coming to you to for you to baptize me. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Yahweh Shai answering said unto him, "Suffer it to be so now, for thus it cometh us, for thus it becometh to us to fulfill all righteousness." Then he suffered him, and Yahweh Shai, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water 
and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the spirit of Yahweh descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And, and lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And that's because he was fulfilling the word of prophecy. See, Yahweh Shai, he always came to fulfill the, the prophecy, man, to fulfill the word. You know, he was never boastful. He never came to destroy the word. He never came to, to do his own will. He came to do the will of his father, man, mm -hmm. which is in heaven. So mm -hmm. he would always make sure he knew the scriptures, man. He knew the word. He was the living word, man. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah. Beautiful to water. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, going back into uh, St. Mark chapter 8 and verse 20, so like that, verse 28 says, And they answered, John the Baptist, but some say Elias and others, one of the prophets, verse 29, and he saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Peter answereth and saith unto him, Thou art, uh, so like that, thou art Hamashiach, thou art the anointed. Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying you are the only begotten son. I believe you're the, the son of the most high. I know it by seeing you perform these miracles. Mm -hmm. You are you are the truth. Mm -hmm. And verse 30 says, And he charged them that they should tell no man of him. That's right. So how is shy? He He's like, okay, you, you know who I am, mm -hmm. but don't tell anybody. You can let them think I am, you know, Elijah, John, any of the prophets. They want, they don't need to know because mm -hmm. you know it. And those who know, they know. Mm -hmm. And it's through the spirit that they know. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't need to go convincing somebody who doesn't believe. Yeah, and also it's the will of Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, okay, and through the spirit of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, so that's that right. they knew, that that's they understood. Right, so we're not going to go uh, begging somebody to believe, man, that they don't they don't believe, they don't care to believe, they don't want to believe, mm -hmm. you know, and ultimately the spirit's not with them. Mm -hmm. and ultimately it kind of is not meant for them to believe. Kind of, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we'll finish up here in, in uh, St. Mark 8.31. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed. And after three days, rise again. Uh, so that's Yahweh Shai knowing the prophecy, man. Mm -hmm. And he was here to fulfill the prophecies, man. Mm -hmm. Right, man. So, and that's uh, him showing that obedience and faithfulness to the Most High. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not about us. It's not about any of that. It's about fulfilling the what's what the Most High has has directed, man. It's his movie. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wasn't given a role to um, be part of the hopefully elect, then the Lord didn't choose them he, for that role, man. And we gotta be okay with that. Mm -hmm. we, we can't change this movie. We can't choose, choose that for them. It, it's a gift, it's a privilege for us to, to be able to have this truth, man. Mm -hmm. So we can't, you know, we can't choose who's able to receive this and who's not. Mm -hmm. okay. It's not of our own power. Mm -hmm. Just like Yahweh Shai, I mean, it's not of his own power neither, man. So mm -hmm. we're, we're just playing our part, man. And we're just happy to have a part. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, this is St. Matthew chapter seven, verse six. Red letter, Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Give us word, this truth, okay? This understanding, okay? 
to give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Right, man. So, you know, they, they're not going to know what to do with this truth, okay? Because it's not, it's not for them ultimately to understand, okay? And, and uh, ultimately, it's going to be, a, a, you know, that rock of offense, man, that stumbling block, okay? And, and you don't want to turn, you know, create enemies, you know, unnecessary, unnecessary strifes, okay? And, and uh, you know, those types of, of conflict, ultimately conflict. You know, you don't want to create, you know, those type of, uh, you know, waves per se. You know what I mean? You don't want to create, you know, any type of uh, confusion and whatnot, things as such, to those who ultimately are not meant to understand this truth. That's right, man. So using that discernment, using that that type of judgment, man, mm -hmm. so where we're not going to cast our pearls into people that we know that mm -hmm. they. They just don't have the spirit to receive this, man. Mm -hmm. And when they've showed that many times, many on many occasions, man, to where we're, we're able to know that, hey, when, if I'm around this person, I'm not going to show my cards, man. I'm just going to, you know, just act regular, man. <laughs> you know? Um, and, uh, you know, because you're going to cause, like the brother said, you're going to bring that strife unto yourself, man. Mm -hmm. And we've already got enough to deal with, right? Mm -hmm. So we're not going to bring more enemies upon ourselves, man. Because yeah. you're already going to deal with it, man. You already got people that, that are going to, uh, you know, that are going to see, that are going to find out who you are and this truth and whatnot, and they might try to, you know, try to to um, go tell everybody else what you do or, or what you believe and and create that type of controversy already, man. So you don't need to go creating it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Kind of an unnecessary vexation also for yourself because, kind of. you know, in this world, you know, that, that, you know, that, you know, certain things can be vexing, but that also will include, you know, and, and before, you know, learning how to use discretion to, you know, per the scriptures, okay, to the very best of your ability through the powers and spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai, okay, for those who may continue to try to, you know, hammer at home, you know, quote unquote, with people of the two thirds who aren't, aren't meant to understand it, it could be vexing in that sense. You know, for those who have tried to to teach this word to those who do not and will not ever understand it, okay, it can be vexing to those who don't use that discretion and realize that it's the will of the Heavenly Father for them not to understand. Okay. So, so that's why we have to understand that as well, is that that's part of that in that walk, that using using uh, discretion, you know, walking circumspectly and understanding that if they don't get it, they're not going to get it, and that's the will of the Heavenly Father, point blank, period. So, you know, we, have, we don't vex yourself any further than necessary, you know, <laughs> necessarily. When, and ultimately, it's, it's the will of the Father for them not to understand. Yeah, this is a quick reading from uh, Matthew 13, beginning at verse 9. It reads, Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered, How shy, red light, and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Mm. Right, to them it is not given. So this is not a given that people are gonna understand. Okay? This this these holy scriptural, the scriptures, these dark sayings, these parables, okay, it is not given. To every one of the 12 tribes of Israel, as the scripture say, and not all Israel is of Israel. Okay? So, these uh, these understandings, okay? These these utterings, these dark sayings, okay? These parables, all right? This is meant for the hopeful elect. It's meant for the remnants of Jacob, okay? This is meant for the Lord's portion, his inheritance, as the scripture say. 
Okay, so it's given unto you to understand the mysteries of the kingdom, a mystery. So think about it that way too. Is, is everyone, you know, capable of, of the same thing? You know, is everyone capable of, of unraveling and solving a, a mystery, quote unquote, you know? Is, is, is everyone has that same capability, you know, to navigate spiritually? You know, no, most definitely not. And, and it's the will of the Heavenly Father, you know, Bashi Me Shah. That it is this way so you know we just have to be thankful you know to to be able to understand to be given this uh to be given this gift of the holy spirit of wisdom knowledge and understanding through yahweh bashim yahweh shai yeah man and god constantly be working to to um edify ourselves and to seek more wisdom and understanding man mm -hmm. and and Make thy calling and election sure by staying prudent in this thing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was, uh, you know, if it weren't a mystery, man, we would, uh, you know, we wouldn't be able to uh, move in the way we move, man. Mm -hmm. To where we, there would be, uh, you know, if this thing were were made in a way that was super clear and was uh you know in the, in the scriptures were written and without the parables man everyone you know uh esau of edom and these damn heathen would pretty much try to um you know burn all the books period man they would uh they would have tried to destroy they would have destroyed israel completely man you know we we might not even be here to be uh bringing out this word man Mm -hmm. But the Lord has, uh, you know, he, he's done this thing and, and written this in, in parables, man, to be able to, um, just to be able to uh, keep things that, you know, from uh, being so simple that even a fool can understand, you know, mm -hmm. you know. Because you, you, if you have uh, people that are foolish and, and, you know, our people are, you know, most people are considered sottish, man. But, you know, you would have a lot of fools out here, uh, you know, really doing some wild, dumb shit, man. Mm -hmm. Really being uh, detrimental to even the, the elect, man. Even to the hopefully elect. Mm -hmm. So... Rather than to make this thing inclusive to everybody, the Lord has made this uh, a very exclusive club to to the elect man, the hopefully elect to be able to understand it, man. Because mm -hmm. if this thing included everybody to be able to understand, then I don't even think we'd be here today, man. God, you know, there would be a uh, yeah, man. This 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 war everything would have been would have happened you know before this time mm -hmm. but we're, we're thankful that the lord has uh has directed this movie in the way he has man kind of to where everything was given a, a proper balance and a proper timing and and the lord has uh you know he's let all things be done with you know and decency and order and the proper timing and and you know all these things are being fulfilled in a proper way man mm -hmm. okay yeah this is proverbs chapter 9 and verse 7 it says he that reproveth a scorner getteth himself uh getteth to himself shame and he that rebuketh a wicked man getteth himself a blot Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. All right, so going back into the idea of casting out that pearls into swine, okay? And understanding that testing the spirits, okay? Walking circumspectly, walking with the spiritual lenses on, knowing that it's a scorner, okay? Cannot be reproved in that sense, you know? Like rebuke and, and rebuke openly, you know, as the scriptures say and whatnot. But ultimately... Um, understanding that that certain things are just not profitable 
All right. So at some point, especially right? someone who's constantly scoffing, man. Mm -hmm. They they really uh, they get their kicks out of causing that type of strife, man. Mm -hmm. So you're not gonna change their mind, man. They just want they want that smoke, man. They want that conflict. Mm -hmm. They 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 got that demon on them to where they like to stir up strife, man. Mm -hmm. So where mm -hmm. you're not gonna make any progress, man. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just knowing that, you know, it's, it's definitely a, once that can be uh, recognized and ultimately um, acknowledged, you know, then it's, it, then you have to pretty much just leave it in the hands of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai, ultimately to, um, you know, lay down that judgment in, in the Lord's timing, because, um, you know, like, you know, that, that rebuke me of a wicked man gets himself a block, so. Ultimately, you know, um, they're just hard-headed, you know, stiff-necked. They got those wicked, you know, reprobate minds and those 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 spirits, man. They just they're not gonna allow them to receive the truth, man, and and not even that, but receive rebukement, you know, as a wise man would receive rebukement. Because if you rebuke a wise man, he will love thee. So, being uh, those who are seeking wisdom and who have been given the blessing of the Holy Spirit through Yahweh Shemuel Shai. Okay, they, that's profitable to yeah. be rebuked as necessary they, they, they in will, order to grow. They will show them. They will show themselves that you know. They will show that spirit of trying to seek higher learning and understanding, and be seeking to know more about the truth, man. Mm -hmm. But those that show that that other spirit, man, they they're gonna uh, they're gonna show themselves, man. They're gonna. They're going to try to attest what you say, man, try to prove you wrong, try to make it sound like something that's, uh, you know, far out or, or wicked, man. And they're going to continue to um, to show that, man. So you're going to get yourself a blot to where you're going to create enemies, man, trying to reprove those that are scornful, man. Those that hate the truth, man. To where they're they're gonna, you know, they they're not gonna uh, they're not gonna be friend you anymore. They they're gonna hate you, man, for this truth. Mm -hmm. So yeah, why don't you continue with that? Uh, are you finished? Okay, yeah, I got that. Do you got that? Uh, nine. No, it's good. Get that Proverbs point. nine and nine. Why don't you get that for me, brother? Uh, yeah, it says, uh, give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man. You're going to see those that that want to listen and want to learn and, and that are studious, man. Those that are, are seeking to grow. You know, these uh, these fools think they know everything already, man. That they think they know everything, they believe in everything that Esau has taught them, man, all the lies, and they're going to want to just try to rebuttal everything you say, man. But those that are are, are just and those that are humble, man, they're going to be seeking to listen and to learn, man. You know, trying to build, trying to ask questions to seek learning, man. Mm -hmm. They want to get wiser, man. And this this truth is all the wisdom we need, man. Come on. It's going to go into to the book of Proverbs. Quick precept from Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 3. It says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. So how do we hide ourselves? Okay. The strong tower of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Okay. The name, as the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing, okay? The strong tower, man. That rock, that stronghold, okay? The prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Man, man, so the scriptures all say, how long will you simple ones love simplicity? How long will they, you know, not seek your help, Hashem, your help, Okay, but going to that word prudent, going to the uh, strongs for prudent, 
Strong's H, 6175. Arum. 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 Second entry. Arum. Arum. Okay, so cunning, crafty, prudent, subtle, uh, subtle, subtle. Okay, so being subtle, man, not being flashy, you know, not being boastful. Okay, not not uh, you know, rocking your fringes to work, you know, things like that, man. I mean, for those yeah, brothers, for those brothers that have been guilty of it, but you know, you know I, I mean, who have done so and learned, you know, to walk circumspectly, you know, that's a good thing. Because, you know, that's that's a form of being, uh, you know, being rebuked and learning from it and so on and so forth, man, in a way, you know? Yeah, being subtle is like uh, not bringing attention to yourself, man. Mm -hmm. So to more so try to go unnoticed, mm -hmm. you know? Not not being overly done to where it draws that type of attention or, or drowns something out or it takes, you know, takes over something man to where we're, we're subtle man and and we don't want to uh to make everything known man of 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 who we are and try to um you know you know try to demand that everyone does and and is just like us man and, and you know it's like no nah, we the most high is in control of that man and we we gotta seek our own salvation out with fear and trembling, man. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is a reading from uh, St. Matthew 10 and 16 reads, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents, and harmless as doves. Yeah. So, being the sheep in the midst of wolves, man, we know that we are, we are vulnerable out here in this world, man. This world hates us. This world is seeking to devour us, man. You know, they 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 sought to take out Yahweh Shai, and they're gonna seek to take out those who believe in this truth, man. And this world is uh, against everything that we believe in, man. You know, this world is an anti Hamashiach, it's an anti Yahweh. You know, this this world is uh, is truly run with wickedness, man. So we are our sheep in the midst of wolves. I Meaning we are are vulnerable, man. To where we have to be circumspect in the way we move man so not to not be um you know not to bring the, the enemy closer unto us man mm -hmm. yeah. so we have to be wise as serpents so we have to be just as wise as our enemies man mm -hmm. wise as the ways of this world and know how these people move man mm -hmm. and to be able to um to deal with them and we have to, you know, we just have to be so, man. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, just like a, a serpent, man, will will be um, very, very precise with its movements, man. Mm -hmm. It's it's gonna wait until that right moment to take action, man, and to do so. Mm -hmm. it, it, it stays hidden, man. It blends in with the with the land. You know, often a serpent will blend in with its uh, surroundings, blend in with the the dirt, blend in with the the you know with the the plants and the foliage around, mm -hmm. and it it makes its moves off of being unnoticed. You know, it mm -hmm. waits to waits to that perfect time. So we have to be wise in that way to go unnoticed. Mm -hmm. We have to try to blend in, mm -hmm. you know, even though we are not of this world, we are in this world, man. And we have to blend in and, and not draw that attention to ourselves because we're the sheep amongst wolves, man. We're, we're vulnerable 
and these these wolves are are seeking to take us out, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have to be harmless as doves, to where we're, you know, we're we're pure, man. We're 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 in, we're, you know, fully invested in this truth, man. Um, we want to be, uh, you know. Lifted up in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, and we're seeking that salvation, man. And to where we, we just want our people to, you know, the the elect. We want the elect to be woken up, and we want to seek that kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna try to live peaceably amongst men while we're here, man. And Lord willing, man, we'll be out of this hell soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is the book of St. John, chapter 10, verse 27, which reads the red letter, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach speaking. It says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. All right, man. So, you know, the sheep hear the voice of Hamashiach Yahushai, okay? And thus hearing the, the call, okay? The commandment through Hamashiach Yahushai from the Heavenly Father, okay? So, we are... You know, given unto Hamashiach Yahushai. Yeah, Amen. That's how we woke up to this truth, man. You know, we got the call, man. You know, it says many are called, but few are chosen. So that's why we're seeking that salvation by continuing to invest in the calling, mm -hmm. continuing why. to invest in that penny. Mm -hmm. That's why the hopeful elect will not be deceived. You know, as the scriptures say, I roughly paraphrasing, because it's it's not possible, you know, that the Heavenly Father is going to make sure that we put keep the Spirit on His hopeful elect, the house of David, okay? To always walk in the ways or it's, uh, attempt to walk uprightly on the straight and narrow path to the straight gate, to always be followers of the only begotten Son, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Okay? So that's why, you know, we will not, uh, Lord willing, we be of that number that does not get plucked away. Especially in this this hour of temptation, okay, that the Bible speaks of, that's coming, okay, when when the the whole world will be tried, okay, ultimately in the coming, you know, days, man, the, whereas we are in the latter days and the in the days to come, where that digital all that Karakma is going to be revealed, okay, it's going to be pushed upon uh, the entire world, our people, okay, it's going to be pushed upon the twelve tribes, so that's why we cannot, you know, be uh, faint-hearted, okay? We have to be, um, you know, we have to strengthen ourselves, gird up our loins, as the scriptures say. Yeah, so, but also, um, yeah, we have to use that, you know, also uh, be able to use that discretion, going back to the theme of this lesson, in discretion, being able to walk circumspectly, okay? Knowing how to discern and use that judgment, okay? Because we are going to need to to move, you know, in, in uh, you know, more or less in, in uh, ways that do not bring unwanted, um, you know, unneeded strife, you know, and whatnot. We, we don't need uh, that type of negative attention. I don't want to use the term publicity. But uh, the point being is that, um, you know, bringing this truth, you know, it's already, it's already, uh, you know, a, a, a sifting agent. Per se, you know, when it comes to the Heavenly Father allowing us to separate from the world and, and all the folly that is in it, you know. So we just have to continue to abide by the law, statutes, and commandments to the very best of our ability and, and stay stay diligent, prudent in our work. Okay, continue to bring, to attempt to bring forth right fruit to you. How about Shemiel So it's a uh, quick reading from uh, Psalms 83, verse 2 reads, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people 
and consulted against thy hidden ones. Mm -hmm. So hidden ones. You know, we are, are hidden. We are the, the Lord's uh, jewels, man. You know, hidden amongst the, amongst the rest of this world, man. The remnant being a small number. So we are his hidden treasures, uh, uh, you know, those believers, those that are, are the hopeful elect. You know, we have to remain a, you know, we have to remain uh, circumspect and, uh, you know, and not drawing that unwanted attention, man. Mm -hmm. Just like Yahweh Shai, because our enemies, they lifted up their head and they, they take crafty counsel to destroy us, man, mm -hmm. for believing in this word and for knowing the truth. God. You know, the Esau of Edom and these heathen, they, they hate us, man. They have, especially Esau of Edom has that perpetual hatred for the children of Israel, man. So, God, they, you man. got something, man? All right, and to say it real strict, uh, real quick, um, that Strong's definition out of uh, Psalm uh, 83 and 2 for tumult. Strong's H, 1993. Hama. 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 Okay, to make a tumult going into, um, you know, commotion or tumult to rage, war, moan, clamor. Okay, so... Yeah, it's just like uh, Revelations talk about the dragon, you know, making war against the the woman mm -hmm. in her seed. Mm -hmm. The woman being Israel, man. Mm -hmm. And okay. the seed being the hopefully elect. Mm -hmm. So this dragon, you know, Esau of Edom and his, uh, his, his New World Order, man, the, the EU and NATO, they, they're going to make war against the children of Israel, especially... The, the, those who have this truth, man, those who believe. So we have to remain, uh, you know, hidden ones. Mm -hmm. God. It says, they have said, come on, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent they are confederate against thee. Mm -hmm. So they confederate, they, they are aligning together. The EU, NATO, these uh, nations that are working with Esau of Edom, man, to come up against us, man, to destroy us from being a nation, man, cutting us off to, to um, you know, trying to kill us off, man, trying to destroy Jake. So. That is the importance of us, you know, walking circumspectly, man. Mm -hmm. Not bringing that that type of attention to ourselves, man. We're not gonna go out there and, and showing our hand to everybody, man. We're not gonna go to work, go to here and there, and wearing our fringes everywhere we go. We're not gonna go telling all our coworkers and, and our boss. That we, we're Hebrew Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got this whole world against us, man. They hate us, man. You know? You know, just personal testimony. Yeah, I got, I had uh, somebody, you know, at work, you know, not a, not a direct coworker, but someone within my work community, man, that uh, was at, that seen me out on the, on the highway and byways, man, try to ask, hey, was that you I seen? Uh, out there on Saturday, yada yada, you, you're out there wearing, you know, uh, fringes, or not, he didn't say that in those words, wearing fringes, but he's saying, oh, sound like you guys had a microphone, you know, because Jake be, you know, bringing it out, raising the voice like a trumpet, man. But yeah, he was like, oh, well, are you guys a club or what would you guys, and you know, I, and this guy is already very, uh, you know, very suspect, man. You know, mm -hmm. this guy, mm -hmm. he, he ain't trustworthy, man. So I, you gotta use you that know, discretion. I had to use that discretion. Oh, nah, it wasn't me, man. I don't know. 
and you know, he tried to be, oh, where were you on Saturday? And you know, I did, you know. Just trying to ask him 21 questions. Yeah, man. exactly, man. And you know, that's the type of things that we're gonna deal with, man, because I ain't gonna, you know, it would be unwise for me to tell, try to bring out the truth and tell, tell this dude everything and, you know, lay all that cards on the table and especially when this guy is already sketchy to begin with, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that could uh, put me in a bad position, man. Mm -hmm. You know, especially being in, in the work environment. So I had to um, be circumspect with that, man. And that's something that uh, not only me, but other brothers have, have been dealing with in, in their own ways, man. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and we're gonna be, um, you know, people are gonna make us out to be, uh, you know, they're gonna speak evil on us for the name, the name and the testimony of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So we have to really be circumspect in how we move these days, especially mm -hmm. as we approach these latter days, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna finish up here in uh, the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16. Start at verse 70. It reads, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold and the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. That's right, man. So we're not going to fold, man. No matter what this world, you know, tries to bring us down and come at us with, man. No matter what they try to do, you know, we know that that insurrection is going to be against us, man. Those that are the, of the hopefully elect, you know, they're going to be like madmen spraying them. But none of that is going to take us away from our belief in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and the faith that the Lord is going to be our salvation and protect us in these days, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they can try to take away our our jobs, this, that, our, our ability to go to and fro, um, different places and navigate. But we, we ain't worried about that, man. You know, mm -hmm. because having that faith and, and continuing to, to um, you know, believe and push for this truth, man, and seeking that, that kingdom, man, that is going to truly let Yahweh Bashem Shai know that we have the utmost faith and belief, man. And that, that faith that we hope can bring us that salvation, man. Mm -hmm. You know, to let them know that, you know, to let them know that who his chosen are, who those are that truly believe, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why we have to walk circumspectly, you know, because everything, you know, um, that we're going to have to endure, Lord willing, I don't want to desire we'd be at that number that, that is able to endure through the blessings of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. Yeah, the Lord, okay. if we truly believe and then we, we pray and we, we hope that we are of that elect, that the Lord will deliver us, man, from these troubles. Mm -hmm. So we, we're all in on, on Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have to pray and trust Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and continue to, you know, as Hamashiach Yahweh Shai was able to walk with that discretion, okay, and use that discretion and teach it, okay, to to his disciples and to his true believers, okay, we have to be able to do the same in this truth in these latter days. Is to, uh, you know, test the spirits, man, and be able to use proper judgment, discernment, Walk circumspectly, okay, use that discretion, okay, 
to in order for Ottawa Mapazah once again that Lord willing would be preserved, man, and, and be uh, delivered and through these uh, times of trouble, these perilous times, Jacob's trouble, okay, that is to come. That is coming soon, man. Come on. All right, got anything else? Okay, let's sit out. All right, so Lord willing, I uh, went, you know, a little longer than anticipated, but it's just the spirit, you know, flowing through it. So uh, Lord willing, this was edifying and company to the hopeful elect of Israel. All right, so... I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. And double honors to the elders and head apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well. Shalom to the hopeful elect, the tabernacle of David, laboring in this word with mm -hmm. sincerity across all four winds. Mm -hmm. Peace be unto you in your households. Mm -hmm. And peace be unto those believing and repenting. In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is finish it. Close out by saying Abad the ball, Abad the ball, Abad the ball, DTA, soon. Real soon. Kwame Ashurala. Kwame Ashurala. Shalom. Shalom.